So Mark, let's go. Um, you sort of talked about the sort of mental thing there. Do you think in the past maybe Arsenal did have a bit of an inferiority complex going to Old Trafford or Anfield or Stamford Bridge? I don't know, but I wouldn't like any of our players feeling that way uh, because they are good enough to, to go there and, and win the match. And um, and I think we have the belief that uh, that, that can happen. If not, it's better to stay at home. When you sign players like Jesus and Zinchenko, are obviously used to winning these sort of games, obviously that must help with the mentality in the squad as well. Of course, yeah, because that brings belief and people who have experiences, positive experiences in those matches, I think is very... Very good because he's very contagious to the group. Darren? Um, lots of talk about your older, um, your former captain, but your current captain had a great start to the season. Can you talk about his influence and what the kind of player that he's in the dressing room and the inspiration that he's providing to the team at the moment? Well, I've already described him many times. Um, he's a really humble, hungry player. Uh, that has a tremendous quality, that he puts that quality to the service of the team. Uh, he's always time willing to, to do things for others. And, um, and I think he's a great role model for, for the rest of the players and the staff. Is your exactly why you decided to give We just try to pick the, the person and the professional that, uh, in our opinion, is going to represent the best uh, who we are as a club, uh, who we want to be as a team. And um, and so far, Martin has done it. Just one other question. In the documentary, we saw lots of your team talks with the team weren't doing so well and the way you were inspiring them. Now you've won five in a row, only 11 other Premier League managers have done that. Are you having to come up with different team talks to compete on the ground? I said, uh, I think last week or the, the week before, that uh, in every period, um, a team needs a different coach so the, what they needed uh, a month ago six months ago to what they need now is is different and we have to evolve and adapt and we have to all the time be sharp to understand what is the temperature in that dressing room uh, because we want it all the time um, tune on and full gas Sam? Mikhail, when you look at the start that you've had how much has it helped that you were able to get Gabriel Jesus and Zinchenko in Early, weeks before the season started. What I cannot put a percentage. <laughs> what I can guarantee you that it helps uh, when you know the players, when you know exactly um, what you're going to expect from them when they come <coughs> in and they show such an attitude and performance straight away. Obviously, there is an impact. How much it is difficult to say. So when you look at the reaction to last night, for example, and lots of fans, particularly on social media, getting angry and upset, it's almost as if if you'd signed Zinchenko yesterday they'd be happy, whereas actually you benefited from doing it early, right? <laughs> Listen, uh, I think it's all about expectations and uh, as well what happened in the last week or so, probably everybody was expecting that we could do something as well, the departures that we have. Um, but again, we, need, we cannot forget what we've done early, uh, with this being one of the issues in, in many occasions that we've been through that and that we are happy with the squad that we have, the club has push the boat very, very far to try to accommodate with the situation that we have right now to do it. Ownership, I think they've been absolutely brilliant. I think everybody can see that. Uh, but to get everything, uh, it's sometimes complicated. And just lastly, do you think overall do well at Chelsea? <laughs> I wish you all the best. That's it. <laughs>